Hello, welcome to my crafty desk. My name is Sandra, and um, I just thought I would um, come down to my craft room and start working on some stuff that I didn't finish, um, and then just continue on some other things, and was like, why not just turn the camera on? So, um, if you wanna watch me continue on, um, and hang out, then great. And if not, then I guess this wasn't for you. I'm so sorry. But I just wanted to get back to it. So this this is the challenge that I did. Um, but I, and I like it. I think it's great. Um, I didn't actually get to finish it on that video because the, I ran out of time. So I guess let me start from there since I'm videoing. Um, on this challenge, we were to use only items... Um, to make to create a botanical scene using only scraps and stickers, die cuts, um, stamps, not postage stamps, and a butterfly. So I have um, my book page, which was um, out of my that really cool um, herbs book that I got at the thrift store, and um, it was already this wonderful, um, pretty color right there. So I, I took this page out, cut it. You'll see the video if you want to, and then I and then I did some decorating. So what I did since we left on the other one, let me let me just do that. I went ahead and I um, put added some of that more of that gold ink, which is this stuff right here, the um, Galaxy Gold uh, Archival Brilliance ninety one Galaxy Gold. Um, does it say who makes it? I really don't even know where I got this. Um, oh, it says shake well. I never shake it. Anyways, so um, I have these die cut butterflies that were already on here. So I went ahead and I put gold on them. I, I wasn't really loving the pinks and the yellow of the colors too much. So I also ended up taking another sticker um, and pull it, tearing it apart. And I added um, the little glittery parts of that, cut some little bodies down, little butterfly bodies. And then I took these little sticker, um, these are stickers, these little gems are they're on a sticky sheet, so I, I pulled them off and um, I did add some glue to help reinforce them so they don't just pop off. This was a sticker that I destroyed, no, <laughs> that I tore apart, and then I used that to put there because I, I really wanted a cute little saying on that. The fabric and the laces, the trims, they are all for my scrap of, my, um, of that bin, anyhow. Here's some more stickers. Um, and they're butterflies. And then here is my cute little um, auspicious kitty right there with the butterfly sitting on him. Her, him, her. Um, then when you um, open the page, I did um, some stamping, some of those um, background stamps that I had. I did some of those with some of the butterflies, added some dictionary page there. And then I just did some layering of some lace and stuff like that. I was actually, um, I decoupage that tissue down there and I was going to build this up to ride on and I never did finish that part so I might do that and then here's a sticker right here and it's all flat so there's no pockets or tucks which we can put in if we want to or I can just continue what I was doing here and just kind of put some writing space on there um, then the back page is the um, lace that I put right here but behind the kitty um, and that came out of my scrap bin and I just took the whole piece and I just wrapped it around um, and it actually went under under there as well. So it went quite a ways. It was a big scrappy piece, which I was glad to find in my scrap bin. <laughs> and then I took that die kit butterfly and I put it on top. So it's a pocket. It's a pocket. Um, so what I'm doing now is I thought, well, I want something to go in the pocket, but I still want to stay within the theme of the challenge. My desk is very messy. Um, but it's okay. I think I can deal with this. This is all the stuff I wanted to work with. So this was in my scraps And it came from one of these I had punched all these pieces out already. I don't even know how long ago, but I Wanted to keep them for you know to use for I can use for whatever and sometimes I just use them for mark makers, but in today I cut one out and I found this in my scraps if you remember we were tearing this apart the other day in one of the videos so, whoops, I'm going to use some of my art glitter glue in my <laughs> grungy bottle. Still, I haven't done that. Um, okay, let me get the glue to come out. This fine tip works really great as long as 
it's clean and the glue can come out. I don't want to glop on this. All right, pardon me for the noise. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stick a needle in there um, and I need a stainless steel needle, so. Well, I mean, I'm just making a hole, so I've used the other ones, but it does get rusty and it gives that a rusty look, which I mean, honestly, it's like, here's some grunge. Oh, I think I just stuck my big old head in that video. Sorry. Um, okay, well, let's see. I don't know how to hold this very well, I guess. So I'm just gonna go around there and there. Yeah, I came down, I thought, you know, maybe I'll continue making some of those um, altered paper clips and then see what else jumps into my head as I'm working on this. And I'm just gonna, if you can see this paper right here, how it has some background and it has the um, florals in there with some script on there. So it's just really pretty. And I feel like that's gonna just fall right in line with what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna tack that down. And then this frame, of course, has that little, that gold, tint of the foil so I'm just gonna do that what do I have? I have stuff underneath me here that's right maybe I'll oh it's the paper clips that I was working on so there we go move those out from underneath me I think that'll be a lot easier to work with there we go I'm trying to keep my hands clean from the glue but it's so hard so these stickers I get at the dollar store, um, a lot of the glues I find, for me anyways, they don't like sticking to these things. And these and they're dollar store, sti or dollar over store sticker. Dollar over, that's the dollar over store. <laughs> it's stickers from them. So I try to get these off. Um, sometimes I can do it, and sometimes I really destroy the um, image. But um, I bought stuff. I have received stuff and I've made stuff both ways and left these little um, dollar over stickers with these little things on them and they always end up not sticking and things start ripping apart. Now I've used other um, dimensionals, you know, or little puff ups or whatever you want to call it to get things lifted up, some better quality ones and then I used a good glue to put them down and I've had better luck with that, but I don't want it to pop up and I think it will tiny, but anyways, right there. That butterfly is on a tiny one, so I think I think that one's fine. So now, let's put that down, and I think, um, I, think I might wanna put a little bit of a trim, even though it's not gonna be a detachable tag, it's um, still quite cute to have it hanging off the, in there. Trying to move stuff around here. Oh, let's see what I've got for some trims down. Yeah. This is a, another scrap pack of my trims, things cut off, so things that I was making. So I might have stuff that in here that's not. So I will choose only the stuff that's a scrap. So like that's not scraps. Um, let's see. I mean that's a okay. that's that's a scrap, but it's is it? You know what? Actually. Let me just put a piece of that on there, and then I think I might do something with it. Is there anything in here in these little threads that might work, the colors? Um, this one, maybe. Okay. And let's see. Um, I'm... I try my best to be kind of organized, but sometimes I think I'm over-organized, which doesn't help. These are scraps. Oh, and here's some yarn. Let me try. These are the only things I have. They're all like the same color. And I don't think this teal is quite the right. I guess it picks up a little bit of that. It, but it's not what's going on this page here. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I will do this. Actually, some of this, maybe. Um, and this really soft yarn. There's a little piece right there. They're all pretty the same colors, but I think I'm gonna stick this bad boy back down here. 
Isn't that funny? It's always a bad boy and a good girl. Do you notice that? I mean, I guess not always, but I feel like that's what we say. It makes me think of the um, snips and stills and sugar and spice. Little do dad, little do daddy. I think that's too. Is that too wide? But no. See, shedding. Sorry. Oh man. I do have some of this on the other side too. So, what do I need? No, I don't want that right now, anyways. Not just sure. Oh, here we go. I think this might look nice with it. It's gold. Let's see what we can do. And I have to get them all through that little hole, too, so I need to be, you know, I remember. So, I don't think, I don't think I like this. Um, I feel like this. Oh, maybe this one. I mean... Would that one be like this, like a rose gold? I like that. Would it be okay? I think I like it with this paper. I'll make the tag. I'll make it, and maybe it won't be what goes in here. I don't know. I'll be able to make something else. But I do like this. So, let's see what we got. Probably two pieces of something. What did I do with that really pretty yarn? Did I take it away? Oh, it's right there. See how soft that is? Um, I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have turned the camera on. Maybe I'm too much today. Maybe this. I feel like maybe is it because it needs three things, you think? Does it just need the one? Nope, I like that. Okay, there we got it. All right, thank you, whoever was telling me to get these two. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I know somebody was doing it. All right, let's see. And I'm just going to find the middle there. And try not to rip my dollar over tag, sticker tag. So, is it still a sticker since I tore it apart? I mean, it started as a sticker. And I'm going to stick it down. So, does it count? Well, I've already really done the challenge, so I guess I could, um, I'm just adding to it. Yes, those are all going back in the scraps. <laughs> you just never know. Now, I did have this little piece here, which I thought was really cute. I like this yarn. And I like just, like, spreading it out, though. And I don't think it needs any more on there, though. So, let's get this down. I like it there. Is that the little bit of texture that need was needed? Was this it? Were you the one? Maybe. I mean, layering's good, but you don't. I don't want to cover everything fully all the time. Like, okay, I like that. Okay, get her down. Get her down. And I'm gonna use my art glitter glue. I think it'll be fine with the yarn and the paper. So I'm just gonna do um, on this line here, so I know it's on the edge, stuck down, and that one. And then just a little bit here. And just drop it down. You know, I'm watching the videos uh, to make sure that um, 
things are, um, I got, you know, the things are, I'm doing it right, I think, and I think I'm doing it right, but anyhow, one of the things I notice is, and I know I have this habit, and I always have, but I, I was listening to myself and watching myself, and I thought, for sure, I was going to bust that ashtray with my hot glue gun. It felt like I was, or it sounded like I was just, um, like, slamming it in there, like, boom. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that was crazy. So, I mean, I didn't feel like I was doing it that diff that hard, but I guess I was. I'm going to put a little, since I'm ta tacking this down, I'm just going to put some glue there and rot wire, and hopefully it'll... Um, Help that to not want to come undone down the road. Boy, that's a lot of glue. I don't want this to come down off, I guess. So maybe pull that down just a tiny bit more, maybe. May. Nope, I like to get there. Stop. Stop. There we go. So I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. I like that. Isn't that pretty? It's just the simple little things. Sometimes um, I can only, even if I only get this far on something, if I just really don't know what to do with it, but I like this part of my layering and collaging, or whatever you want to call all this stuff. I'm not really sure what all the technical words are. Um, um, sometimes I'll just leave it and come back to it. I'll just put it in my... Well, I don't like to call it my unfinished stuff because... For me, it was finished to the point where I could get it. So I have a I have a container where I have, um, oh, what would I call it? I guess the best thing I can think of right now is my um, partial finished. It's it, things that just need a little extra something, or 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 they can be add-ons, because really, I mean, this is pretty. I love this. I think it's beautiful. I could just tear you know tear this down and tear whatever I want. I can even put that on something like. I know I keep saying that, but it could be on the fat on the top of a of a journal. It could be on the top of a of a journal card. Maybe there's one that I made already, and I just didn't care for it. I could just put it on there, you know. Um, there's just so many different things you can do. So let me see. You know, I can make, I can you know get that to be more stiffer, you know, with something like that. And then I can put that on. I can make a I can make a greeting card with that, like. So just know that you don't, just because you get to a certain point, um, you don't have to keep going if you don't really know what you want to do with it. But if you are just feeling like, feeling creative and you're just like, you know what, I have these pretty things and I have these ideas and I've seen other people do stuff or whatever it is and you just want to play and put stuff down and just do it. Just do it. There's no rules. There is no rules. And you can redo it and take it apart and sometimes... When you're taking it apart, it makes it through that, and sometimes it doesn't. But even the things, for the most part, that doesn't make it through for me, I'm able to figure out another way to use them. So, see, I said I was done, but it's that gold, you know, I just can't. I just can't stop. I don't think, I think I just want that piece off, and I want... I don't know. And is it upside down? Probably, because there's more gold that way. I can go like that. Nope, I don't think I like it that way. I like it this way. Yep. There you go. So there you have it. Now, is this going to work? I doubt it. Let's try. Let's try this glue that I like. Oh, and you know what? <gasps> when I was telling you about how I use this cap, and I just put the cap on, this is a screw cap, so... I did drip a little bit of glue, but it's so thick and hardly any came out. Only um, on one shell, and then it was no big deal. So this glue I um, have had forever, I guess, and I or I bought it, and somebody had it forever. I don't know. I don't really remember. But it's pretty good glue. There's no smell to it. Yeah, it's just it just smells like regular um, white glue, but it adheres to metals, plastics, and glass also. It's a water-based super glue, so I'm going to see if I can find it if they still sell it, because I don't know if they do. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing they do. This came from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby's not that old, is it? 12, 16, 19. And um, 
and how to make a, I had to switch to that, like I said in the other video, um, to use for some things that I needed a heavier duty, and I thought, oh no, it's not gonna grab as fast as like Fabri-Tac or this glue right here, which I'm gonna keep free, put that lid back on. And I will say, I don't think, I haven't come across anything besides actual super glue that grabs as fast as this for paper. Um, I'm not using it, so. Um, but for Fabri-Tac, like there's always a little bit of play, like you can see, like there's a little bit of play, but it's gonna grab pretty fast and it's gonna be super sturdy. So I think I'm gonna leave this like that and I'm just gonna put this in my little, um, I guess I should have grabbed something to put it in. I thought I had, I thought I had stuff over here, but what, oh, I did, I did. Yay. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just put my stuff that I'm, I'm making, I'm liking it, but I don't know what I wanna do with it. And I'm just gonna pop it in there. And, and just give me a moment here. I, I'm gonna have a nice drink of my tea. I wanna get this drink down, drank down so I can use my tea bag. So, um, look, I'm already getting rings on my paper. Is that natural or is it came with it? No, I actually did spill my tea, so is that my teacup? Don't know, looks like it might be. So, so I was trying to make a card for that. That decided, I, that decided it wanted to be someplace else. So, I'm gonna stick it up here. And, um, and then we'll just make a little card with some scraps, I think. What do I have? I have this little scrap pack of some like index card. I just wanna put something in there so that, you know, so you know it's a pocket. I don't know about you, but I'll forget that it's a pocket. Oh, that's from when I bought something. But I love the paper, so I kept it on the other side, which I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> It's okay. It's all okay, right? There. Oh, that's florally. I can just put that on there. Let's just, um, let's just, let's just do it. get a little ink around the edge so it stands off that card and then we'll get a little ink around that card as well just a tiny bit doesn't need a lot Not for what I'm doing and maybe just to give it a little bit more um, delicacy here we'll just run the corners with my corner rounder I like these things you get three um, different size rounds I'm just, yeah three oh my gosh and who makes this one? Who makes this one? I, I do not know. Well, I guess they didn't put their name on it, so I don't know. And then I have this one right here, which gives these three different shapes. Actually, I should show you because it's quite cool. Um, I thought it was gonna look odd. I thought I, I thought it wasn't gonna like, I don't know, they look odd to me. I thought, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so let me, See, if, let me let me buy it and, and check it out. And if I don't like it, then I will give it to somebody and see if they like it. So, here's this one right here. We'll do it to three, another three corner punch. And I do like these three corner punches. They work. They work nice. They they don't hurt my hands. No, so they're easy to punch. So there's that one for that middle one. See, it's not bad. It's actually you use that when you're making your tickets. Isn't that cute? Um, and then here's this one, this one. Well, that's not a good corner. I didn't get it good in there, right? So you wanna make sure you get your a good fitting in there. In there. I think my paper's crooked. Let's try it like this. Maybe it just needs to be a little thicker. Yeah, there you go, see? That's a nice edge. And then th this one right here, on this side right here, 
is this? Good lord, I can't get it. I cannot get a good punch. I'm sorry. We want to see. We want to see. Let's go. Um, there, much better. See? And see how that just softens the corner up like that? Can you see that? I probably should put something underneath it so it stands out a little bit better. Hello, come on, papers, let's go. It's not really the paper, it's my hands. Okay, let's see. Does that stand out better for you? You can see that. Or is that too white? Here's some Tim Holtz um, paper I have. Oh, that looks, okay, so I think I, maybe you can see it better there. And then this one, obviously, I think you can tell how that would be like the middle of the tickets, you know, how they, in the, between them. And then that other one. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Let's see here. So, well, that was a big waste of time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, I do like that. I wonder, I guess I could have just done this instead of that. Let's just do this one there. See, I don't have a straight edge. So I guess I guess all that to say that I love this stamp as long as I get my things in there straight. Otherwise, those those decorative parts do look do look, come out come out a little funny. Good night. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna scream. Just kidding. <laughs> so I'm just gonna toss that one. I'm gonna get a different one. And that's not the full I need. I guess it wasn't meant to be. I think I'm just going to. I don't have the right stuff at, at my fingertips that, to, to play with what I want to do with this card. And I thought I did. But I don't. Maybe I just need to, this book page right here. I can just, because that's thick enough to be a, a journal card. Yeah, I'm never gonna use that, so. There we go, bye bye birdie. And, uh, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna take my glue. I'm just gonna make, I guess I could've used my other book page I already have. I'm just gonna, I don't really want glue on that. Sometimes it's just a process. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video. I've had so many blunders. <laughs> okay. My granddaughter wants me to learn how to um, do the editing and stuff, but I really don't enjoy doing all that. I really don't. It exhausts me. I just have a glue book over here if it's not in camera where I can set that on. Whoops, and glue. Whoops, I'm just gonna fold that over. That, I'm gonna use this wet one just to get some of that extra glue off that I laid my project into and then I'm going to glue this and then I also have this punch which has the, the lines and 
I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't play doing, playing that same game again. <laughs> I'm over it. So I'm going to glue this down. And there's that. See? It doesn't have to be anything super crazy. It could just be like that. And, um, here's some, oh, check out this envelope. This was an, this was an envelope that came in the mail. It's got that really cool texture, so, um, and can you believe my husband tried to throw it away? <laughs> like, hello? And then if I put that there, oh, wouldn't that be a cute, like, a little label on there? Yeah. And I even like that little crease. Maybe. Until I destroy it, I'm going to keep it. Maybe I need a new page. This is pretty sticky. Okay. And uh, I think I like that. And then I'm actually going to keep that going. There we go. All the way to the back. All right. So this is the obviously the decorative side. The back side is going to be um, the journaling side. Um, so I do want to make it a little bit lighter so they who, so that wherever this ends up, whoever they have, they can journal on it. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's shade. I think I think this is nice. It goes with this. Let's see. I think we've already done this before, too. I think I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm just going to use my metal ruler, which I love these rulers. I get these at the, um, I cannot remember what the dollar store is called. Is it Dollarama? Maybe it's Dollarama. It's in, um, across the border where I live. Um, is I live at the border of Canada um, and Washington State in the U.S., and the town there is Osoyas, and they have a Dollarama store right there. So that is, what is that? Without a line at border crossing, it's like 10 minutes to get there versus the um, dollar over store that's the closest to me is a 40, a 40 minute drive or so, one way. So it's nice to go to the Canada one. I really think it's called Dollarama. I don't remember. Anyhow, those rulers are awesome. Um, they, I like their nice edge and they're so inexpensive. Okay. Oh my gosh, I guess technically was that a scrap? I actually have scrap of that and I couldn't find it, but I'm, I guess we're just over that. We're over it. think like I it makes me think like oh I think I'm following the rules I'm trying really hard it's kind of like it was, it was making me think of the game um or like charades or Pictionary something like that and you're just like um you accidentally say the word or draw the wrong thing or do the wrong like thing but you're in your mind you're like no I'm doing this all right and everybody just kind of stops and stares at you like um <laughs> do you not know how to play this does anybody know what I'm talking about <laughs> That's how I was feeling when I picked up my paper anyways, was what I'm saying when I, to get this scrap, I'm like looking through my scrap pile and I just pulled out a piece of paper. Technically it was pulled apart from a book. So would it be considered scraps? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't honestly call it scraps if I was being perfectly honest with myself. Until now, now that I tore it up, it's the other parts are definitely scraps. So there, I pulled this off of that book. Um, that I'm using as a my glue book. It's, it's a little bit different shape, so it gives me like a nice size of a journal card. So, and uh, I will just throw that in my basket over there that holds those precious little gems. Now I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna glue this down. Just get out of my way. I need to get a different setup um, for to be able to film and stuff with, and have my crafts around me because my, my crafts, my supplies that I'm gonna use for the craft that we're doing 
because this is driving me bonkers. I mean, I am a messy crafter, but sometimes, you know, I'm too much for myself. Now, I'm not really gonna do anything with this at the moment, and I kinda, I don't, I want, I think I want that to be like, like I messed it up or something. You know, maybe like that. Yeah, I like that. And then I had that really pretty piece right here. I liked this. And then isn't that cute? Would it be cuter to be sewn down? And this is just the edge of, I think, a, a pillowcase. But I gotta be careful because it's gonna, it's gonna wanna come through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue inside here. Whoops. Okay, well, here, let, I'm gonna do this because my hand is not, Okay, you guys are probably gonna get tired of hearing that. So my hands don't wanna always work, so I have to, I'm learning how to reuse them in different ways is mostly what I'm doing. And I do have this paintbrush here from the other day. So, or yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Okay, what is today? Today's Wednesday, right? I believe I was using this on the, today's Wednesday, but this video is not for today. But the Wednesday video is when I used this, so technically. And I did that Wednesday video on a Tuesday. All right, you, you, you getting it? <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm gonna put this in here. See? Just because my hands are different doesn't mean I can't still do this. I just have to find, I just have to figure out different ways. It's kind of nice. And that's pretty much a challenge in itself. I'm just gonna put some of that glue down here. I think I need like more. <laughs> so. And yes, I do wreck my paint brushes with the glue. That's why I just get the cheap ones. When I go to um, stores that have like a bunch of stuff marked down or they have the marked down aisles and they have, you know, the really cheap paint brushes, stuff like that, that but, but still have a nice enough brush on there where I can do stuff like this. I just get them. I have a drawer with a bunch of stuff in there for extras, and they're all. They also come in handy too when I have like a, like kids, and they want to come when they come over and they want to craft with me. Then it doesn't bother me. Like I just pull that stuff out, and I have I have inks that they that I have put aside for them. I have special things um, for the projects that we do put aside just for them, because if they did get wrecked, then it's not that big of a deal. And I don't want to spend my whole time when they're crafting, correcting their, um, I mean, I want to help them and help them learn how to do things and um, just be kind of a guidance with them. But I really want them to be free to be creative and and to do things. I mean, goodness, I, I, I wreck stuff all the time. Like, sometimes it's just part of the process. And so... But I'm still not gonna give, I'm not gonna, you know, put my, oh gosh, like my scissors, like for instance, like these. If, if my husband used them one time for something simple and I about had a heart attack, I was like, you can't just take my $10, the, I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, especially when you're buying like lots of them, like that's a lot of money for scissors. I want them to, I bought them for a specific thing. Okay, there. Yeah, isn't that so cute? Like, oh my goodness. And then I can just take it right up the side um, there because I think that would just be fine. So cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I'm down here. I'm so glad I turned the camera on. I don't know. I was struggling with that um, punch. And honestly, sometimes when that happens, I just leave. I'm like, whatever. I'll just come back later. And sometimes I make it back and sometimes I don't. So thank you for um, hanging out with me because this truly does push me. All right. 
food enough. I'm gonna stick it in some water. I, I just, so I just have like a little bit of water. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go dump it outside. So what I do, because it's got glue in there, is I'll run my paintbrush in there, and then I'll go all the way around it, cleaning it out, and then I dump it um, outside um, where my husband said I'm allowed to dump my glue water. <laughs> And then I wipe it out before I clean it because I'm not going to dump that down my sink. Um, I know that it's a water-based glue, but it does clump up and it gets hard and sticky. And I'm not into that kind of destruction of my house. So there you go. A cute little card. So there's my, my page. And if this was to go into a journal, it would be like, let me see. Um, I'm so sorry, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab one of those ones I'm working on. I can show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess it would be just fine. So here's one of those ones that I'm still working on. I'm getting through them slowly. And um, I was thinking about putting that on there, but anyhow, I haven't, did I sell these in? I haven't sewn this one in. So let me just give you a, an, an, an idea if this was in here. I guess that's not the right color, but we can put it on this page. So when it's in the signature, you know, see? So if I was opening my book, I'd be like, oh, oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, that's a, such a beautiful digi kit. I can't remember who I bought it from, but oh my gosh, amazing. And then see, there's a the page. And it's just a decorated page, and that's fine. Not everything, you know, it can be just decorated. And when you open that up, if I do more of this or um, tone this down a little bit, even if I don't tone it down, you can write right here. You can write right here, and you can write right here. And then when you get all the way to the other side, whoops, yeah. Okay, so there's your book. And then when you open it up, you're just like, oh, so cute. And then you can put things here. You can put a paper clip in here to hold some stuff, you know, down. So, you know, that's floral. You can put it any which way you want. And then um, the back page, oh, and I lost my, I lost, not only did I lose my de my debit card, not only, wouldn't that be a pretty, pretty debit card? Not only did I lose my journal card, it went into the glue. So, and then I can just tuck that right in there. And that's what would happen. So I would just open that up and there's my little card. I could put it that way or that way. And then there's my book, a very skinny book because it's not having anything in it yet. All right, I better look and see how much time we have on here. Well, that took me a lot longer than I thought. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just call it good uh, for today. Otherwise, I'm gonna have you on here for another hour. Um, but I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for crafting. I might still um, keep on going and I'll probably just record some other ones for some future videos. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. And um, just keep smiling. <laughs>